In this lecture, we will cover different types of review. With this, we will cover the third topic. Explain the differences between different review types. Informal review, walkthrough, technical review, and inspection. Before going to each review types, you must know that all review types have common objective, that is to detect defect. Now the question is, why we have different review types to achieve same objectives? Because each project has different needs, different types of resource are available for different types of project. Next is product type and risk. Different product has different types of risk associated with them, and to address them effectively, we need different review types. Similar to different project and different product, we may have different business domain, and to address their need cost effectively, we need different review types. And the last one is company culture. Some company focus on very high quality of their product, whereas some company looks for more profit. Each company has their own cultures, and to fulfill that, we have different review types. So review type selection is based on needs of the project, available resources, product type and risk, business domain, and company culture. We can apply more than one review type to the same work product. For an example, initially we can apply informal review type on a work product, and then we can apply technical review on it. But the question is, why do we need to do informal review before technical review? This is to ensure the work product is ready for a technical review. Now let's start with different types of review. We have four types of review. Informal review, walkthrough, technical review, and inspection. First, let's understand what is the main purpose of these review types. These are the four review types, and these are the main purposes. Main purpose of informal review is to detect potential defects in the work product. Since it's the informal type of review, we don't focus on much of documentation. We focus on finding defects. Next is walkthrough. This review type is more formal than the previous review type, and its main purpose is to find defect. Along with that, it focuses on improving the software product. We focus on alternative implementation of code and evaluate conformance to standard and specification. We already know that finding defect is the common objective. That's why it's also here. But other points are specific to this review type, and you shall remember them. We focus on improving software by providing alternative ways of implementation. And here, we also see that the standards are met or not. These points are unique to this review type only. Next is technical review. One of the main purposes is detecting potential defect, but the other main purpose is to gain consensus. During technical review, we discuss with the team member and we try to come on the same page for the technical solution of implementation. To build an algorithm, there can be multiple ways. Here, we try to choose the best one for our project. So gaining consensus is the unique point of technical review. Last one is the inspection. This is the most formal review technique among all. And the main purpose is to detect potential defect, evaluate quality and building confidence in the work product, preventing future similar defects through author learning and root cause analysis. We have many unique points for inspection, like evaluating quality. Since it is formal review type, we collect all the matrices which help us to evaluate quality. And by evaluating if we see the matrix is positive, then we will build confidence in the work product. For example, if we don't get any major review defect, that means the quality of the work product is good. From the matrix, we will also come to know which types of defects were found most. Then, we will arrange a training program for author to improve their skills, and by doing this, we avoid the similar defects in the future. So these were the main purposes of four review types. Let's go through the unique points of each review type. Informal review, 
Detect potential defect. Walkthrough. Improve software quality. Consider alternative implementation. Evaluate conformance to standard and specification. Technical review. Gaining consensus. Inspection. Evaluating quality and building confidence in the work product. Preventing future similar defects. Training author. And root cause analysis. Along with the main purpose, we also need to know the additional purpose, which we will see here. It is very simple to remember additional purpose if you know the main purpose properly. Let's see the trick. Additionally, purpose will contain point from the main purpose of the next review type. For an example, if you want to know the additional purpose of informal review, then you can get it from main purpose of walkthrough. Let's see how. Main purpose of walkthrough is to provide alternative implementation, and the additional purpose of informal review is generating new idea or solution, which is same as providing alternative implementation. We will see this similarity with all the review types. Other purpose of informal review is quickly solving minor problems. Since we don't prepare many documents here, the process is fast comparing to the other review types. Next is walkthrough. Here, the additional purpose is to exchange ideas about technique or style, training of participant, and achieving consensus. Don't get confused as gaining consensus is the main purpose of the technical review. Here again, main purpose of technical review became additional purpose of the walkthrough. In informal review, along with finding defect, we can generate new ideas or solutions, quickly solving minor problems, since we do not document much here, finding and fixing defect is quite fast comparing to the other review types. In walkthrough, we can exchange idea about techniques or style. We can also perform training of participants and achieve consensus. Now don't get confused with main purpose. For an example, gaining consensus is the main purpose of technical review. But in walkthrough, along with main purpose, if team wants to achieve this, they can do it. They have to fulfill the main purpose, this is additional to it. So don't get confused with main purpose and additional purpose. Next is technical review. Evaluating quality and building confidence in the work product, generating new ideas, motivating and enabling authors to improve future work products, considering alternative implementations. Here, evaluating quality and building confidence in the work product, generating new ideas, motivating and enabling authors to improve future work products, is the main purpose of inspection and additional purpose of technical review. Last one is inspection, and its additional purpose is motivating and enabling authors to improve future work products and the software development process, achieving consensus. Let's go through them quickly. Informal review. Generating new ideas or solutions quickly, solving minor problems. Walkthrough. Exchanging ideas about techniques or style variations. Training of participants, achieving consensus. Technical review. Evaluating quality and building confidence in the work product. Generating new ideas. Motivating and enabling authors to improve future work products. Considering alternative implementations. Inspection. Motivating and enabling authors to improve future work products and the software development process, achieving consensus. Now we will see few differences between all the review types. With this table, it will be easy for you to remember all the points. Here we have review types, and here we have some attributes which you shall keep in mind. First attribute is individual preparation. In informal review, we don't do it. In walkthrough, it is optional, in technical review, it is mandatory, and in inspection, also, it is mandatory. Next is review meeting. In informal review, we don't conduct review meeting. In walkthrough, we conduct review meeting. And what you need to remember is this meeting is led by the author. In technical review, it's optional. If it is conducted, then it will be led by the trained facilitator. And in inspection, it's mandatory. And here, also, it's conducted by the trained facilitator. Next is involvement of scribe in review process. For informal review, we don't include scribe. 
for walkthrough, technical review, and inspection, we include Scribe. Next point is use of checklist. In informal review, we don't use the checklist. For walkthrough and technical review, it's optional. And for inspection, it is mandatory. Next two points are for defect log and review report. They're optional for informal review and mandatory for all other review types. With this table, it's easy to remember these points. All the points are mandatory for inspection. First four points are not required for informal review, and last one is optional. For technical reviews, yes, and optional are alternative. One last point which you shall remember is that matrices are collected in inspection stage, but it is not done in any other stage. We tried our best to simplify this topic. Hope it will help you.